Hi, so in the series of Pascal's triangle, today we have one more property of Pascal's triangle and the property is if the first element of any row of Pascal's triangle is a prime number, then all non-1 elements of the row are divisible by the first element. So as you know, all these 1s are the 0th element of each row and these are the first elements of each row, right? And if we talk about the 0th row, we have only one element and if we talk about the first row, we have two elements and both of them are 1s, so we need not to check the rule in this row. But if we talk about the second row, the first element of second row is 2, right? And 2 is the only non-1 element. First element and the last element are 1s. So here also we actually don't have anything to check. But if we see the third row, here we have first element as 3 and second element is also 3. So 3 is the first element which is the prime number and second element is also 3 and that is definitely divisible by 3. Any number is divisible by the number itself, right? And if we talk about the fourth row and the first element of the fourth row is 4. Yes, it is a compound number. It is not a prime number. So we need not to check this rule in this row. But if we see the fifth row, the first element of fifth row is 5 and this 5 is a prime number and the next element of this row is 10. 10 divided by 5 gives us 2 and similarly this 10 is also divisible by 5 and this 5 is definitely divisible by 5 and if we talk about the sixth row, 6 is the first number and it is a compound number so we need not to check and now if we see the seventh row, 7 is the first number and other numbers are 21, 35, 35 and 21. So those two I am not writing and 21 divided by 7 gives us 7, 3 is our 21, gives us 3 and when we divide 35 by 7 we get 7, 5 is our 35. So 21 and 35 are divisible by 7, right? And on the 8th row, 8 is the first number and it is a compound number and in ninth row we have 9 as the first number and that is also a compound number and in 10th row we have the first number as 10 which is a compound number again but if we talk about the 11th row the first element of the 11th row is 11 and 11 is a prime number right and we have whole lot of number other than 11 and 1 in this row. So let's check how many of them are divisible by 11. So 55 when divided by 11 gives us 5 and the third element of 11th row is 165 and when we divide it by 11 we get 11 1's 11, 11 1's 11, 11 5's 55 so we get 15 and when we divide 330 by 11 this divides 11 1's 11, 11 3's are 33 and 0 30 times, right? And if we talk about this 462, when divided by 11, 11 1's are 11, 11 4's are 44 and 11 2's are 22. And if we talk about rest of the elements of this row, they are just the repetition. We have 462, we have checked divisibility of 462 over here. Then we have 330, 165, 55 and 11. All of them are divisible by 11, right? So this rule holds good till 11. And if you have patience, yes, you can check this rule with all the other rows also. So this was the prime numbers in Pascal's triangle. And after this, we have a very very interesting property of Pascal's triangle which is fractals that is a visual treat to see so bye bye till then